Hey guys! Oh god, my throat. Apologies. I'm not even gonna like record a new one. One second. Yeah, I'm not even gonna record a new one. I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> but yeah, hey guys, welcome back to JR Entry Dash. Last couple of episodes. Made progress. <clears throat> First time I made progress in two consecutive videos in a while. Since we've been doing it every other video for like two or three episodes. Because I suck. But we, we now have it back to the two in a row. And I feel like I can like 100% make progress in this one too. Like we even had less attempts in the last video. Because otherwise the video in my opinion would have been far too long. Proving that getting better at the game. Getting more consistent at it. Since like I'm getting further. More consistently. Which like is why there was less stuff. You know, takes me longer to get this far than it does to get like halfway through the level. So naturally, length matters. <laughs> I really didn't want to phrase it like that, and, but then when I realised that I was gonna phrase it like that, I was like, "Go for it, go for it." It sounds weird. That's funny to me, because I am a big child. I get amused really easily by dirty jokes. Okay, that's just sort of my kryptonite. Dory jokes to me, they're just beautifully funny. Just like, if someone slightly misspeaks in a sentence with something that can sound funny, it's like, inside I'm just chuckling. Especially when I do it, and it's in front of the girlfriend's family. That, that Those moments are freaking beautiful. Because it's a moment of saying something accidentally, like, in a way it sounds funny. You know the parent is just sitting there giggling to themselves. While, like, other people are either like, dum de dum de dum no idea what's going on. And then there's just me and her, like, oh, what have I done? As she giggles to herself. It's, it's happened to everyone. It's happened to everyone. It's happened to everyone. There was one time with my. Well, that sucks. I clicked once at the top there and it didn't do it. So I clicked the second time and it did. But by that point, I was far, 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 far too far to the right and couldn't click on the bottom one. That makes me sad. Yeah, there's this is one story with my girlfriend that was hilarious at the time, but. It was also a moment of, thank god there were no parents in the room. Now that sounds dodgy. But here's how it goes. My sis- not my sister. My girlfriend, Andy, as we all know her, has two sisters. And one time, um, me, my friend, and Andy were at her house. Parent wasn't in the room. One, like, the youngest sister was. She must have been, like... Eight, seven or eight, I don't know. And my friend was just sitting there, I think with his eyes closed, just going like, Om. And I was like, hey, he's meditating. And I said that. Like, I think um, the young sister was like, what's that noise? And I was just like, oh, don't worry, Junior's just meditating. Since that was his name. But I didn't say that. My stupid brain said, Hey, don't worry, he's just masturbating. And then, my brain exploded. We all burst out laughing. The little sister, oblivious to what I just said. Like, afterwards, I, I was just like, no, meditating. He's meditating, he's not doing that, he's he's meditating. He's, he's meditating, he's making that noise, because he's meditating. Have I told you that he's meditating? I don't think she heard what I said properly, and eventually she said meditating, and I was like, Phew. I was so happy there were no parents in the room at the time, because Jesus, imagine that. Me just saying to like an eight year old, yep, don't worry, the friend's just masturbating. That, 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 would, that wouldn't have gone well, I feel. That, that wouldn't have gone well. But afterwards, <coughs> after, like, we realized we were basically okay. It was just a moment of pure like hilar hilarity. We just we were just laughing to ourselves. Andy was like, "Dude, 
What did you just do? And I was like, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. My bad. I'm sorry. But afterwards, we, we were just all laughing. It was freaking funny. Now, I am a child deep inside, so that's probably why it's funny. But still, tell me you wouldn't have laughed at that. Because I won't believe you. I think everyone would laugh at that. I didn't even click to pull up then. I was just at that bad of an angle that I died on like the final spike while going down. Because otherwise I would have died, so I clicked an extra time. But I still died. Because... Because like I said, I didn't even start to pull up. I died like before I even started. It's not even like I clicked late and it still did it. I didn't click at all. Like I realized I died and was like, shame. Carry on. Proves how much faith I had in myself at the time. I actually, now I think about it, pretty much gave up before it even happened. Stupid brain. I've told you about not giving up before. Yet you still do it. My brain is not the smartest thing. I think it's just I'm not smartest thing. <laughs> That's the problem. That I'm the dumb one thing, sort of, maybe slightly. I don't know what I'm saying. All I know is I must get progress. Must. Get. Progress. I was too low. What do you mean? I was clicking the entire time, I just didn't get enough bounce off of that thing to hit the blue thing. I didn't get enough bounce and it didn't even give me progress. Oh. That counts as far as I'm concerned. It didn't give me the number, but I made it further. And that was a dumb death. I don't even understand what happened. But I do understand what happened. I just don't understand why it happened. I was, like, clicking the entire time, like, okay, we definitely know there's gonna be a thing there's time to catch me. You just need to, you just need to click. So I was clicking that freaking button as fast as I could. And I still died. Like, it just didn't catch the thing. That saddens me. God damn it, that's annoying. Irritating ways to die. Who needs nine ways to die? Or how many ways to die when you have that? How many ways was it like? Seven, that's the one. Seven ways to die. Remember when Machinawa. Machinawa? Yes, Machinawa. Remember when Machinima was popular? You have a lot of subs on YouTube, but remember when they were actually, like, popular? I had loads of views going in a day. They still get them, I just assume, pop me, they still get them, I just assume, just nowhere near as much as they used to. Like, they were doing amazingly on YouTube at one point. I never really watched the stuff, but I just remember they were big on YouTube. Like, two of my YouTubers, and by my YouTubers, I mean YouTubers that I watch, are just two YouTubers that I watch, not mine, I don't own them in any way. I own some merch, but I do not own the peoples in any way, shape, or form. That was a slightly annoying death, because that was going really well. Like, that was a really smooth path through there that I got. But I was pulled up a little bit too much. Oh well. But yeah, like, two YouTubers that I watch, they're, like, they're, they're with Machinima. Like, they don't do much. Like, they, they've done a couple of videos, because Hutz is with him, so... Like, only recently, he's gotten with them. And by recently, I mean, like, it's been a few months now. He's done a few videos for them. And he's just like, yay! And one of my other... Ugh, I was gonna say my other YouTubers. No, one of the other YouTubers I watch. I do not own these YouTubers, they are not mine. Yeah, one of the other ones I watch. He used to do videos from years ago, like, Three or four years ago, maybe even four or five. He did really old stuff. Like that's what made him popular on YouTube, I think, when he like got with them and started doing stuff. Like he did some dot 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 ways to die. Like I think he did like 42 ways to die in Minecraft. And there's just a bunch of random silly stuff of like just dying in stupid ways. 
like Indiana Jones, I think was one of them, and he just ran through a tunnel of like arrows and lava. I can't remember, but still, he's, he's funny. He's a good, he's a good guy. Doesn't do as much good, amazing stuff, but you know, he's got a wife now, so you know. It, it makes YouTube a little bit harder when there's a wife. That's not me saying, yeah, you can't have wives if you do on YouTube because they make things harder. That's just me saying, you, you got other people to worry about rather than just yourself. You got, you can spend time with your family and stuff, and like your wife and people, instead of just sitting and making videos all day. Like he still makes videos because you know, money. You need the monies. It's not just for money, but still. He makes videos still. He, he very much enjoys it. But, you know. Can't, can't be, like, do ridiculous edits like he used to. Since family time. Family time. And he streams more now because, you know, YouTube not exactly the most stable platform than you're swearing. So you, you, you lose your monies. So he, he go, he's, he's on Twitch now, mostly. Like, I think he does daily streams, just at random intervals and times. And doesn't do as much YouTube, but still definitely does YouTube. So, yay! Yeah, he's very entertaining. He's, he's, he's very funny. Especially his old stuff. His old stuff is just... It's like the golden age of YouTube when he was gaining thousands of subs a day. Now it's like a couple of hundred, if that. Wow. You know when you have a decent attempt... And then you die on the first spike sword blade thing. Story of my life. I have these moments a lot in this game, I feel. Like, doing well, doing well, doing well, sucking massively. It's really bugging me that I died on that bit. Like, I, I feel like it wasn't really my fault. Like, I did what it said on the tin. I did the instructions, I opened the box, I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, and I let it stand for 2 minutes. I did what it said on the tin, but it, it didn't work. The pudding was stodgy, and moist, but in the way of it being like too moist, and not deliciously moist. Since moist is a good thing. Do you want a cake that is dry? Or a nice, moist devil's food cake. I'm taking the, the devil's food cake any day. Screw the fact that it's going to give me diabetes and has a million kilograms of salt. Not salt, the sugar. And will make my teeth, like, quickly have to be downgraded to dentures. But it's, it, it'll be delicious, I can assure you that. Over some really dry, gross cake. I met someone yesterday, just online, that said they hated cake. Now either they were lying, or or they've never had that delicious devil's food cake after them, and they've just had those dry, awful cakes. Like they said, they they didn't they they said they hated it. And I was like, you've never had a good cake, my friend, ever. Like. Someone get this man a cake to enjoy because, like, he's living a sad life if he doesn't like cake. Yes! No! It was going so well! 85% feels pretty good! <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm just excited. That was really, really good. I jumped at the wrong time, but I, I was like noticing what to do in the moment on a lot of those other bits, and it felt amazing. Like on the Beyblade part, I realised you had to go up, and I did it. Um, with the when you turn back to normal, I did jump in the air a couple of times, but I didn't need to. I jumped perfectly off of the floaty things without mashing the click. But I think it just like deposited you into the air and I was jumping like, ah, I don't know what to do. Because, you know, got classic panic mode. But yeah, I, I didn't die that time. Feels pretty good. 
Now, that death didn't feel pretty good, but I've made progress, and a considerable amount. That was, like, 6% of progress. That was awful. But yeah, 6% of progress is not, it's not awful. It's not. It's amazing. Only 15% to go. I'm gonna say four more videos on this um, level. Four more. All I need to do is get consistent at the spaceship part. Because everything else, relatively self explanatory and simple. Now, I will need to sort of see things coming and do it in the moment. But, like, that's, that's how progress is made. It's trial and error. So, I just need to get much more consistent, which I have been doing, at the um, Tunnel of Love Fallopian Tube area. Then, we are in business, my friend. We're in freaking business. We are on the business, this side of business, South of England. No idea what I just said. It'd be great if there was a place called South of Bidness. Or just, um, Bidness South England. As much as that would be kind of terrifying. Like, wow, I, I, I said something that actually existed. That sounds weird to say, like, wow to. But, at the same time, wow. That actually exists. <sighs> I almost got the perfect swoop. Just slightly off, but if I click, the, like I said, if I click, I'm gonna fly into the wall, so the fact that I missed it is even more annoying. That's what makes that bit so much more difficult. If it was just like, okay, you let go of the button, you go down perfectly, it would be so good. But it's not. Like, it's not much different to that area, except way more precise. That area is pretty easy now. I felt a bit off. But I feel like I could easy five that by just not clicking. But it didn't feel quite right, so my brain was like, CLICK THE BUTTONS! So I clicked the buttons, and I died. So remember kids, if you... If you feel like you're in trouble, don't click the buttons! Especially if it's a big red button in front of you to self destruct. Definitely don't press the button in that situation. Because chances are, it's not going to give you milk and cookies. It's going to probably, maybe, slightly, sort of, you guessed it, self destruct. It's a button. There's probably not a happy button. It's probably a sad button. That thinks nobody loves it. So do not press the button. Just make a light conversation with it. Be its friend. Felt like I was gonna die there. The prophecy game drew. And now I'm that sad button that's gonna self destruct. So don't push the button. I'm not that button. But still, don't push the button. It's not a good thing for you. Unless it's a troll button. But even then, don't take the risk on the button. If it's in the game, pfft. Risk it all day long. In real life, don't push the button. Like, you shouldn't really go around pressing buttons if you don't know what they're doing in the first place. That, 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 that doesn't seem like the smartest decision that the human race has ever made. It seems pretty stupid. Pretty non-thought out. Screw that area so much in the butthole. Like, it's not even that I start to mash the button late. I do it, like, as soon as I... Like, that was awful. As soon as I hit, like, the second to last bouncy thing. Just to make sure I get it. But sometimes I don't get it. And then, I, then I'm sad. Like the button. No, leave the button alone. And the button is fine. Still don't press that button. But the button... It's fine, you just gotta breathe, and accept that the button's fine. And then we can have the milk and cookies that I spoke about earlier and we'll be okay. I'm pressing a different button, the milk and cookie button. I may be that cookie. I, you, you don't know, because I'm cookie the thingy, and I may be that cookie. If you just think about it for long enough. 
and now you're just imagining me coming out of a thing with milk. And I don't even like milk. I'm not lactose intolerant. I just don't like milk. It's basically just personal preference to, ew, milk is gross, rather than, hey, I, I, I can't have this. Let's go! Oh, I clicked! That's gonna be an awful section. I remember that bit. You can't jump immediately. You have to wait the tiniest amount of time. And that is gonna suck so many balls. Oh, no. I found the new hard part. But more progress. It feels so good to make the progress. It feels orgasmic. Come here, Danny with feet. No, it's a joke about probably last episode at this point, not this episode where I was talking about, oh uh, yes, naughty thoughts about Nanu Fee. So it was me throwing back to that and being like, oh yes, Nanu Fee, since I said the word orgasmic. It's a joke. It's not how I feel about Nanu Fee. I'm sure she's a lovely lady, but I don't want to do her in her JJ. Alright? I hope that you get that and can understand that. Okay? Good to see we're on the same page. <coughs> Another part about the um, bit that I died at earlier is after I came out of the section, I did click like just before I hit the floor and held it for a second to like assuming well actually no it wasn't before I hit the floor I don't think I think it was just like as I hit the floor like oh, I don't know what's gonna happen so click is like a preparation of trying to be safe and that's still not the right timing maybe if I jump later up on the top bit um I can jump immediately on the floor that's what I'm going to try and go with to start off with. Oh, I've come off the tab and I don't know where. I don't know where, but my mouse still isn't moving. I'm so confused why it does that. My sensitivity shouldn't be high enough where if I gently move my hand so much that I don't even notice my mouse goes off the screen. It shouldn't be how it works. And you know my mouse is in the middle of the screen. Since I have to press the play button. And guess where that's located? Oh yeah, the middle of the screen. It's confusing, man. That was awful. Having it in windowed mode is so much better for videos. Because then, you know, I can I can see OBS. And see it hasn't just died and I've talked to myself for six weeks. Which, you know, that, that's a good thing. To, to, to not do that. Doing that would be pretty annoying. The sound of a face palm. I love the sound of a good face palm. Like sometimes there's mediocre face palms where it's just like no noise and you just see someone doing it. Sure, those are okay. But have you ever gotten a satisfying face palm? When someone does something so face palm worthy that when you actually do it and your palm contact your face creating the beautiful face palm it just makes such a good sound it's like slapping the ass of a baby don't slap babies but still it's just so beautiful so perfect the reason it sounds like that by the way is because baby butts not that I touch baby butts or have just go around looking or staring at baby butts Baby butts have their own freaking term, smooth as a baby's bottom. So, it's like you slap something that's so smooth, it makes such a clean, perfect noise. That's why it's like slapping a baby's ass. It's so perfect. Have you ever had one of those face farms? It's like slapping a bald old lady around the back of the head. Now, it doesn't have to be an old lady, it could be a man. Doesn't even have to be an old man. Just a bald person. It's like slapping them. Perfectly. It's so good. 
Like, sometimes, like I said, there's not great face palm, but sometimes you get those, it's like, ah, oh, Give me the Nanny McPhee pictures. No! I'm sorry, okay? I apologise to Nanny McPhee and all of her fans. That be NFL people. I don't know why, but I suddenly just sort of thought of Susan Boyle after I thought of that, because, like, you know, she was on, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh my god, what is it called? Britain's Got Talent, that's the one. The show that every other country seems to do now, because we did it. Like, I went back on YouTube, I think it was yesterday, and like, looked at her audition, so I remember watching it, like, on TV. And everyone was like, this looks like it, it's gonna, I don't know how it's gonna go. And then she's like, ha! And Simon's cow, oh, Simon's cow? Simon Cow's eyes. You can just see the money signs spinning in his eyes. He is a very happy man when he hears her sing. Like, he clearly got a boner from it. Just thinking of the money. That's just what happened. But I remember watching that and the show is so much different. Now we have four judges and a golden buzzer. Before, it, there was three judges, two of which, or one of which, isn't even on the show anymore. But Simon Cowell, he looked so young. He looked so young. He didn't necessarily look great for his age, no offense Simon Cowell. Like, I don't look at Simon Cowell like I look at Nanny McPhee. I don't look at Nanny McPhee like that. It was another joke. It wasn't a good one. I panicked there. I didn't think I'd, I'd make it through a section. So when I actually did, I was like, oh, what do I do? I was too busy panicking. But yeah, like, Sam Kai looked so much younger. So did all the judges. I mean, you can tell the camera quality has gotten better. But, like, I watched it live, and that was like nearly 10 years ago. It was 2009. My brain exploded like I was so young back then. And then I remembered like, didn't she come second yet still get lots and lots of money? And still perform in front of the Queen and possibly Obama? Like she, she went places man. Isn't her net worth millions now? And like diversity won that year. I remember I really wanted them to win at the time. I was like, yeah, diversity, they're dancing people. Like, I really liked their dancing. They were good. They were very good. And the tiny child with the frizzy hair was so adorable. And now I've seen him on celebrity dating shows. In the show, it's not in the not the dating show. In Britain's Got Talent, it said the group was aged from 12 to 25. I'm pretty sure I know who's 25, it's probably the main guy of the group, who's like, the most famous one, it's on loads of shows now. Like, Jordan, I think his name is. And then there's Perry, who's the one who's tiny and has the floofy hair and gets thrown around a lot. But, in the show it says the youngest was 12. I assumed that was him, because he's freaking tiny and adorable. And now he's been on celebrity dating shows, and it makes my brain explode like... How did, what, what happened to you, sir? Did you see what you used to look like? So young and innocent, and now you're trying to bang Selena Gomez. Okay, maybe not that far, but still. Celebrity dating shows. Like, the only reason people are going to date him, no offense to is because of your hair. He has some foofacious hair. Now, what does foofacious mean? I probably couldn't tell you. Just when something is super foofy. You know? Have you ever seen hair more foofacious? More foofacious than his? I don't think you have. That's why people will get with that guy. And why they won't get with me. I already have a girlfriend. I'm fine. I'm happy. But still. He's got some foof on him. And it's amazing. Yeah, what I was talking about? Oh yeah, diversity. I remember the one that year and I was like, yay! And Susan Boyle came second and I was like, yay! And loads of people were like, no! Because they loved it, but she does not have the singing style that I dig. Especially when I was a child. Like, 
it, as a child, I'd be like, Pony Rock is in the house tonight. Not, hurry are Yeah, I wasn't into that. I was just into like, do, 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 you know? It's good stuff. Party Rock album is old now. Okay, mouse. You're in the middle of the screen again. Stay there. The mouse is not moving. <coughs> <coughs> now, you may think I move it when I do that. By, like, just jogging my arm. Because, you know, coughs can jolt your entire body. I moved my mouse and tried to recenter it. That time I legitimately moved it and acknowledged it and tried to move it back, but I died. Because my brain started to do something else rather than, like, you know. Play the goddamn game. Yeah, what was I saying? Something. Um. Nope, it's gone again. Oh god, I hate it when that. I said either in the last video or like in this video. Whoa, I hate it when that happens. It happens again. It happened again. And that's not a good thing. No, it's not. <laughs> Excuse me. Still not moving my arm when I do that. That's what I was talking about. Thank you, cough. Yeah, like, usually, like, people can jog their entire bodies and they cough. Like, when I had trouble sleeping, whenever I would cough while trying to sleep, my entire body would just be, like, jerked upwards. Not in that way, you filthy, filthy humans. But still. My, uh, my, like, entire, like, like, head, neck, chest. They'd be jolted forwards. Just by the power of my cough. Because... Oh, I had a cough. Oh, no. I still have a cough, as you can tell, but... It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's just a bit annoying. It's, like, usually worse than the mornings. And it's usually my alarm in the mornings. Just, like... Ah, uh, dreaming about random things and Nanny McPhee. No, I wasn't dreaming of Nanny McPhee, okay? I wasn't. It was in the name of a joke. Joke, 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 joke. Just a pure joke. Okay? Good. Yeah, it is a joke. And, yeah, I was just dreaming about random stuff because I don't remember my dreams because, God damn it, I want to remember my dreams so bad. I do remember one of my most recent dreams. For some reason, I was playing golf under a pier don't worry that there was like a beach and I was on the beach bit and there was a pier I was playing golf and then there was loads of little turtles coming out of the ground because you know they, they, their eggs are buried under the ground and they come out and then they go to the ocean and we had to help some turtles it's a weird dream man dreams are strange but it was a dream about helping turtles but usually I don't remember my dreams but the cough has been helping, I guess. Since I, I, I'm asleep and it's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, what happened? Oh yeah, my lungs are dying and my throat is falling out. And yeah, usually it's worse in the morning, like I said, because no moisture. So I need to get drinks and then my throat is a bit happy. It's like, oh, you gave me moisture. Thank you so much, human. I appreciate this more than you can believe or ever know. Because, you know, you're keeping me alive and happy. And I'm like, no problem, bro. Like, I, I need you, sort of. Partially for talking, partially for, like, swallowing food. And yes, food. Swallowing food, nothing else dirty. Internet. I give the internet a bad name. And judge it. Whenever I say something slightly dirty, like the Nanny McPhee thing. <laughs> I just bring it up constantly. Just like the internet being this dirty, dirty place. Not everyone on it is dirty. But... It has its dirty people. It has its dirty people. That will say dirty things and make dirty jokes. Oh, some of the jokes I don't even understand. Like, just really weird things it's like what are you saying you crazy person like when people say my farts are hot like what 
Farts are not hot. It's a fart. It smells and can make children giggle. And I know, because I'm a child, and I giggle. Because it's a fart. And here it sounds funny. But yes, uh, I'm a big baby, and I laugh when people fart, okay? Sue me. Sue me. Bet you do it too, or at least used to. It's always funny though, when you catch a dog off guard when you fart, and then it's just like, Ugh! And it's like, eh, made the dog, made the dog jump because of a fart. Because you know what the fart is, you're like, it's just like the butt doing fart related things and re releasing gases that have accumulated from eating certain foods. It's just, it's just, we know what it is. But the dog is like, oh my god, what was that loud noise that came from under you? Maybe there's a demon in your sofa. Should I investigate? But yeah, he's weird. Farts are a strange occurrence. Like, here's something that I thought about the other day. This is not to do with farts. This is just a random thing that blew my mind. Because my brain is, was like, hmm, since humans are sort of like, carnivorous in a way, our teeth were designed for eating meat. Which is another reason why it's confusing when there's a vegan or a vegetarian, since our teeth are literally designed for, like, meat. But since our teeth are designed for meat, my brain thought the other day, why the hell did we evolve to have to cook our meat, or else possibly get extremely ill from eating raw meat? Why? Why would we evolve that way? Now, he cooked meat is freaking delicious. But still, you've got to see my point. Why would something that has features designed to eat meat, why would it evolve to need to eat the meat when it's cooked? Like, most animals that do this are like, like I was thinking lions, tigers, other big animals that eat meat. Birds don't count. Well, I was gonna say birds don't count because they don't have teeth, but that's not my point now, think about it. My point is, they can eat it raw, and they can. All those animals, they eat the meat raw, and they usually just are happy and go on with their life. Why can't we do that? Why did we have to go, oh yes, we eat this, and that's, and that's not good for us. Maybe we could once. Maybe I'm being ignorant, and we could once, and we've evolved out of it because we evolved ovens. And make waves, and now we make the food more delicious. But still, it really like made my brain go, "What?" <laughs> when I first thought of that. Now it's, it's a bit silly, and it's my brain being stupid. But still, oh, I let go of the click half a millisecond before I pressed the thing. Oops! Or before I like landed. That was my bad. But also, it felt weird when I died. Like, at the moment, I definitely clicked, but also I probably clicked slightly early now that I think about it. Like, my brain has to reconsider after each death. Like, that one, never mind. I felt like I jumped early, and I did jump early, and I died because of it. But, a lot of deaths is like, what just happened? I, I died. Why, why was that? Who was that? Why? I don't understand why his death happened. Someone please explain to me. But when I understand, it's like, yep, fine with it. I'm just, I'm just dying in dumb ways because I'm me. But when it happens, I don't understand. The brain just goes, err, err, err. Not even feet, not even feet, not even feet. No. I'm sorry. But that's now sort of my channel's new joke, I guess. Just me talking about Nanny McPhee. Sexy, sexy. No. I'm sorry, but you're going to be hearing a lot of it from now on because her her her, not even fee Charles. I'm sorry, original funny. I think it's original. I've never heard a joke about not even fee. Like I don't think I've ever heard a joke about not even fee. Now I think about it, it's a weird thing to think about. Like hmm, joke about not even fee. It's very random to think about, but still, it's, it's not even fee. It's not necessarily the most PG joke, but well, it is nowadays. It is nowadays. Remember when people were like, oh, games shouldn't be this scary, and now we're like, yeah, it's fine. Like, that's going from films to, um, 
game but still people were like oh that's very scary it shouldn't be that scary that's not okay but don't play it don't play it <laughs> that's why I get confused about so much stuff in the world like oh they've made this thing why would they make this thing this, should, this isn't okay then just don't buy it like I don't see the problem I went over in the last episode of why I, I get confused about I'm hoping for people like Oh, I don't like gay people. Then don't be gay. This is sort of the simple problem I thought. Just if you don't like it up the bum, don't give or receive it up the bum. Unless you want to do up the bum with a female. Like that's not me going against females. That's just me saying, like for the whole gay argument. Just if you don't like it up the butt. Don't give up the butt. Okay, jumping off the floor immediately is a bad decision and it will kill me. But I, I, I did click then, but it, it didn't quite get the jump. And that made me sad. Like, I, I definitely clicked. It was a little late, because the floor was a little bit closer than I expected. But I thought I should have jumped still. I thought I should have jumped. Like, that blind jump is so irritating. I wish they had, like, not put that blind jump there. And then put, like, the blind jump there with the spikes a lot further away or something. To make it more fair. Because as it is, it's a bit of a pain. Like, getting through the bit before that is a pain. And that bit is just like a kick in the teeth. It's like, oh, you did a hard part. Well done. Have this. Oh. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, what's talking about? I'm talking about... Like, the fact that there's nothing wrong with gay people. <coughs> and why people are like, Oh yes, this is a bad thing. Just don't buy or do the thing, and then you haven't got a problem. Now, there's exceptions to the rule. There's exceptions. Like murder. That's not okay. Not even murder with consent. That's still not okay. You shouldn't do it. The person who wants the thing to happen to them... They, they need to be looked at and helped for the better and the person that wants to do the murder also has something wrong and they need help now I'm not saying it in a way of oh they're a bad person they they shouldn't think like this oh help them I'm saying it in more of a way of the the world is full of people that have something wrong in their brain like, this is why people get um, disabilities and get help for it. So we need to help these people too. And, you know, that, like, we need to help them. Like, I, 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 I don't think we should be putting people in prison for a million years and then never getting them help. Like, people that steal stuff. Like, I was watching a police program today because they're entertaining to me. With people that are like, there was a dude that was going 105 miles an hour in a 40 zone. Because the the, 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 the the motorway place bit that he was on had road work. So the speed limit went from 70 to 40. And this is miles now, not kilometers now, so you're going to have to translate for yourself, anyone in America. Because you use very silly, silly systems like Fahrenheit and kilometers an hour, which is just weird. But, <laughs> no offense. But still, like, he was going 105. That is 35, because I can do math, over what he should be doing when it, it's not got road works. And it had road works, so you had to do, like, 75 less than what they were doing. And by 75, I definitely mean 65, because I can do math, like I said got you 65 less and he was like oh I'm sorry I didn't see and there was every few meters some great big sign saying 40 40 40 40 40 and this person apparently didn't see it and apparently like, I love this excuse this excuse was hilarious they were, like, they were saying oh yes I have loud music in my car so that's not gonna obscure your vision Oh yes, the stomp step is so good, I can see the music coming out of the speaker! No. 
It's music. You can still use your bloody eyes, you dipstick. And then apparently, like, he, he had a court thing to go to because, you know, it wasn't just any regular speeding, it was ridiculous. And then apparently he didn't go to any of them. And was speeding again not that long afterwards and got a 400 like pound fine and like 54 days off his off of, like a driving ban and I was like no make him ban or just ban him for longer 50 something days is not enough for someone who was speeding twice and one of those times I don't know what the other time was but one of those times was 65 miles an hour over the speed limit. He needs more than that. Like, this is sort of, in my opinion, how it should be. He needs to learn some way, and he's not gonna learn. Like, he's probably gonna learn, because, you know, 400 pounds, good, you could use that for something good. You could use that on a computer, for instance, which I would very much like to do. But still, he's an idiot. He shouldn't be driving. Like, when you call speeding once, it's like, Oh, you got to go to court now, that's very bad, don't do it again. But, he did it again. And didn't go to the courts. He's just the biggest tulip, this side of tulip town. I don't know. But still, not a smart man. Not a smart man's. He was the dumb dumbs of man. But, like, I, I want him to be, like, possibly in prison for, like, a week. Not too long, just a week, out of fine. And then just, sure, give him his normal ban. So he can just, like, do the crime, then do the time. If you know what I mean. Because then, like, peace restored to the earth. He's, he's done the things because he was naughty. Like me when I'm free. No! <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's, he was bad, and punished accordingly. I don't think he was necessarily punished accordingly. Like, he stopped with the police, which is good, because not all of them do on this show. A lot of them run away, and then they get into more trouble for, like, failing to stop. Like, I don't understand. If you are caught, just bail and be like, okay, I'm sorry, I did a bad, I'll do the time now. But then you run away, and then you can cause accidents, and then you cause everything to get worse just to try and escape like you're an idiot just accept that you've been caught by the police if you're gonna get caught anyway it's not like oh I'm gonna get caught anyway cut nothing it was not really gonna get worse well yeah it is because you, you're not like just hand yourself in just say alright I did the problems I'm sorry All right, I'll, I'll go quietly if this was in America just Everybody guns out, kill the people for being bad. I do not understand America. We do not have that many guns here. And we have so many less deaths. You have so many guns there and you have so many deaths. You could say it's for like self defense, but still. If you didn't have the gun for self defense, no one would die to the gun. And if other people didn't have guns for self defense, they wouldn't be tempted to use the gun for a stupid reason. If you want to use a gun so bad, just go to a gun range, use a gun, don't bring the gun anywhere near the house. Like, do you even need a license in America? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like you should. Because I, I know for certain you need one in Britain, which is why my brain's saying, they must just not need them in America, that's why it's so easy to get them. Like, isn't... Isn't there, like, more gun stores in America than there is McDonald's and stuff? If so, that's ridiculous. That's, like, actually ridiculous. Like, it's just so much easier to say, Yeah, I can have a Big Mac meal than, Or oh, I can have my AK-47 in Britain. It's the opposite in America. I don't even know if AK-47 is illegal in Britain. I assume it would be if you had a license. But then again, isn't uh, AK-47 a semi-automatic? I don't think those are allowed in the UK. 
I'm pretty sure you can have, like, like, I have no idea about any gun laws anywhere in the world, so don't take this as, like, the truth. But I think you can have, like, guns for shooting animals and farms and stuff, as long as you're allowed to do it in that bit of land, you're not killing endangered animals. Like, you can have rifles and such. Possibly pistols, I'm not sure, but you definitely, I'm pretty sure at least, can't have semi-automatic rifles. Or automatic rifles, for that matter. I don't think you can have those, but I'm pretty sure you can have the others that I mentioned. But everything else I don't think you can. But, who knows? Who knows? Either way, America, you need to get a bit more tight on your gun laws. Because, you know... I, I saw a thing the other day on like the difference between how, like, how many people die. A, like a year in America compared to Britain from guns. In Britain, it was like I think it was near a hundred times less often. Now you could just say there's more people here. Yes, but there's more guns. That there is more guns. Guns are not a good thing. Like guns are not a toy. They're not. Now, you could use them for fun, but that doesn't make them a toy. It makes them a serious weapon that can kill someone just by shooting them to the chest or face. Now, nah, that's not good. That, that, that shouldn't be very accessible, I feel. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Like, it's never gonna change, at least until Trump was out of presidency. Because... He's crazy, and really, really, really loves his military for some reason. Just, yeah, pump all that money into the military. Hey, we could use that for, like, helping people and donating to stuff. Nah, let's do this. Hey, what about this global warming thing with Paris? Pfft. Just put money into that. Just put money into the military, and screw that. I don't believe in global warming. I don't believe it. The warming is a myth. Stupid man. Like, a million to bajillions of scientists say it's a thing. Yet you're not believing the science people. You're just saying, Pfft, not real. I don't think it's real. But guns, guns, guns. Nuclear war. And he's not a smart man. And he's racist, and he's just... Ugh, he's not nice. Why is he the president? How did he become the president? And America, why are you not trying to do something about it? Like... When you have a racist president... That's when you know. Like, your, your president was a meme at some point. He was a freaking meme. And yet he's still the president. Like, he got four years. I'm, I apologize for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope he does have four years. And he, like, drops out or, God forbid, an assassination. But I feel like it's, it's going to be attempted many times. Um, like, like many times. Obama, how long was he president for? Cause I'm, he got in multiple times, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure he got in multiple times. Because once again, I'm not American. I don't understand these things. To us, we just have, like, prime ministers. We don't have any as President Malarkey. Just prime ministers. And, you know, we don't really like anyone. Because, at one point, it was going to be Jeremy Corbyn, and then... It wasn't going to be Jeremy Corbyn, and then it was Theresa May, the person that nobody wanted. Like, something happened. I don't know what happened. We were just all like, oh, please don't be her, please don't be her. Oh, it's not her. Oh, it's her. Why is it her? I don't understand. I assume there's a good reason, but I don't know that reason. Probably because I'm stupid. But still. Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought I was going to go through a portal. God damn it. Oh, I did way more attempts than I meant to, but yeah, I go to 90. 
But yeah, I went through the portal and I, I thought I was gonna go through a portal to flip myself over, but no, you gotta jump over the thing and then you gotta do the thing on the floor and then you gotta jump over the spikes. And I was like, okay, it's my attempt to jump over the spikes. Haven't really had one of these, but here it is. And then I didn't even get to the spikes. Like, there was a chance of getting even more progress, like just making it over a couple of spikes and dying to it. Still a very good chance of getting progress, since I've died twice now as my furthest being on those spikes. At least that means... God damn. Cause this, is the last, this is the last attempt. At least that means in the next video, we have a chance to get progress just by jumping over there. Which, you know, that makes progress much easier. Because I can literally die and still get it. Now, it's probably not the right way to do it. I totally could. <laughs> I totally could. If I got progress doing that, I would accept it and be like, yep, it's progress. See, look, it says I got dot 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 further than last time. Now, it doesn't say that ever, but still. I could say, hey, look, I got further because I, I did take it get further. Unless I do it this round, then like finish, now I'm like, <gasps> what do I do now? I don't know. My life is a lie. <coughs> <coughs> I'm okay. We good. Not a bad fan on them. I could die here, but I'd accept that. Cause it's it's gone reasonably well, if you ask me. Oh you son of a gun! Oh, I I clipped it with my face. It was so close. That was so close. I would have basically made it to that section and possibly gotten the progress that I joked about. Ah, oh, it was so good. But then it wasn't. Oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you're still enjoying the series. I know I am. Made progress. Made a decent amount of it. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.